So here we are at Thanksgiving 2020 and how am I feeling and what are my plans and where have I been? Well, as you all know, or most of you know, I have been suffering from this very bad head cold right through here. My sinuses throbbing like a, a bass drum. My head up here just nonstop. Thank goodness for these blessed little Excedrin tension headaches. They are a godsend especially when it, you just don't feel good. And uh, I had taken a Zyrtec and uh, Benadryl last night, and boy, did it zonk me silly for a while. But on the other channel, side of it, I want to share some more news with you. I didn't get to tell you about what happened recently to me, and I hope this story of kindness kind of opens your heart up, kind of makes you look at things a little differently this holiday season. And most importantly... It makes you realize the act of kindness is something that you can't buy at a store. So anyway, um, I had gotten a package in the mail that is for a Christmas present for a young chef. It was tore at the top. The mail person had written a lovely letter on there. Sorry, it was it tore in my truck. There's no damage to any of the products and nothing's lost or stolen. Hope you understand. And I immediately went, wow just to take that time and you know moment to really say hey this is my mistake and I hope that you understand and was really honest and sincere about that mistake I was like well I've got to respond so I found a card that said just a note and it was the cute little kitty cat on the front and I wish I would have taken a picture of it for you anyway I, it was a blank card inside so I wrote in it mistakes happen life happens and that was very small and as you said nothing was damaged nothing was lost it's going to be wrapped and the young chef that it's going to is going to be so excited that they're not going to notice that the packaging not because there was nothing damaged was you know ripped at the top she's going to be excited about what's inside that package so i said don't sweat the small stuff and i said happy thanksgiving just breathe this holiday season we all need to just breathe and i gave her a thanksgiving ornament to put on her wall so for her and her kids would be able to enjoy it you put a nice little treat in there for them to have because you know it takes a moment to do a single act of good to hopefully what they do is they take that act and they pass it on to somebody else and that this thanksgiving more than anything else i hope you do an act of good so that it can be passed on to somebody else. Anyway, with that being said, um, I have been under the weather. I am not cooking tomorrow. Surprise, surprise. Uh, Grandpa has been wanting Cracker Barrel for a while now. And honestly, it's been a while since we've been there. We've been going to the candy kitchen, but they're not open tomorrow. So, yes, we're doing Cracker Barrel. And... Um, provided that they have what we want. There's a story behind that too. I tried to order Tuesday. They told me no. Call Wednesday. I called Wednesday. They told me no. Call Thursday. One hour beforehand, especially if you're not ordering the Thanksgiving. My mom and Mackenzie had their Thanksgiving already. Grandpa doesn't like turkey. I'm the only one that does like turkey. So they said doesn't matter. You still have to call your order in one hour before you come pick it up. So hopefully tomorrow what we are going to do is call Cracker Barrel say hey this is what we want come pick it up if not there is some food over here at the county market in their hot bins to pick up if we have to go to that which grandpa won't eat turkey and I'm hoping that there would be a ham sandwich on the wall so it's like just sometimes you want to scream you know what I'm saying anyway I want to finish the cowboy strong book for you I also want to show you my artwork because I am now three away from being done. There's Noel. I finished that the other day. Well, I think that was today. All my days are going together, so bear with me. The little deer. I don't know if I ever showed you the couple that I did complete. Okay, and then this is the one I'm working on now. Santa riding, I call it Mrs. Claus's bike, but that blue doesn't match like it does in the example, so I hope they won't hold it against me, but We'll see. It'll probably go to the Meals on Wheels fellow. As I said, I'm trying to give everyone a regular gift, but then something homemade and from the heart that will be in a picture frame for them to cherish, hopefully, for years to come. Um, 
Anyway, God bless each and every one of you. Keep your social distance. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. If you can't wash your hands, have your hand sanitizer nearby. And if you're traveling, safe journeys. But that's a no-no. And I love each and every one of you. So stay safe and well. I want to see you around for Christmas, New Year's, and all the years to come. God bless. Stay tuned because Cowboy Strong is coming up next. <laughs>